You know, I've been doing this uh, yo-yo thing for a while. You see, boxes of yo-yos, they come in boxes that are like this size. So, these, I think I know what these are. Okay. Whoa! Blue and white one! I actually haven't seen these yet! I'm taking this blue one. My mom doesn't like me taking stock for myself, but look at this! So, this has been a case that we've been working on. I've, I've been using it a lot. This is my personal offset case. Open it up here, and it's got a white zipper and a blue outside. You open it up. Ooh. And with the previous design of the case, you could kind of try to force a mini in here. It wasn't super useful. So what we've done now is we've made that hole bigger and look at that. Outlier mini fits perfectly in that little slot. You can also use this slot to just put in any of you like that, like that. There you go. I'm not supposed to be showing you this. Um, there you have it. And the case works really well. I think my favorite thing about this case is this zipper part here. And it basically just allows you to put all of your like random crap here without it worrying about it falling over anywhere. And you know, we didn't really reinvent the wheel with this case. I mean, there are small details like these zippers here. We could have made these white. We were debating on doing that. But considering we touched them so much, uh, we opted to, to not do that. Same deal with the, the black case. We could have made this either blue, we could have made it white, but you know, white tends to get dull over time. So we've opted for the, the basically the high touch areas are black. And so that is basically the cases. So up until now, they've been pre-orders because we didn't have any in stock, but they've been shipped here now. Look at that, yep. See, they've been shipped here. For those of you guys who have been very, very, very patiently waiting for your case, thank you guys so much. I'm super happy with this. Why do you need the blue one? It looks... You already got the white one and the black one. It looks pretty. So since I got back, it has been basically all cylinders firing. There's, there's been a whole lot of projects that have been kind of up in the air. Th things have been busy. Now, but today, I thought it would be kind of interesting to kind of talk you through some of the business side of Offset Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're still a very small primitive thing that's run out of my apartment, but still! Project number one is our new titanium yo-yos. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look sick? Whoa, okay. The whole titanium project, this, this was something that I did not take lightly. Releasing a titanium yo-yo is, is, is a big deal because these yo-yos are so expensive to make and they're so expensive for the consumer that you don't really just want to half-ass a titanium yo-yo. And you know, f for the Offset brand, I've always had this insecurity that Offset wasn't, you know, cool. So what I really wanted to do with the titanium yo-yos was was to kind of make a statement of our branding which takes me to project number two okay so we've been doing a few new branding plays the the most obvious example of that is these the newer sense um to the untrained eye, it looks pretty similar. I mean, like this is our new Ascent logo. For those of you who have forgotten here, that's what the old Ascent logo looks like. This was our initial Ascent logo. I really liked the look of this, um, but we have some plans with the Ascent line, none of which I can reveal yet. Uh, so we're, we're doing a bit of a rebrand. So this is our new Ascent style. I really like it. You know, these little things here kind of just pull out the fact that this yo-yo has finger spin capabilities, which it does. It, it does. Opted to move away from just the boring black pad print and we're kind of going uh, more of an on-brand 
blue pad print kind of look. We also have this, this white version as well, white and blue. And, and so like a term that I have developed a greater appreciation for is the term on brand. So this is something that we've been working on. So we'll be restocking it. Um, if you guys are ordering a sense, you might get the old batch first as we kind of churn through those. And then as soon as we're out of stock of the old batches, we'll, we'll ship out the, the new designs. Um, and then kind of while we're on the topic of, of branding, aha. Oh, this is an Outlier Plus Galaxy, by the way. I don't think I've officially announced this, but in case you guys have... have anyway. This! This is like... This is what we wished we could do for every single year. Now, obviously, something like this... Um, do you guys remember when we had those, like, big black... Actually, I have one here. You guys remember these? These big black offset yo-yo boxes? It just becomes way too expensive. And when it eats into the margin like that, especially when you're a smaller yo-yo company, the yo-yo company just implodes on itself. But as the branding begins to kind of roll out, everything that's not on brand, there's that word again, kind of looks just like an eyesore. These and these, they look like two different company packaging, right? We are moving into something like this. So this and this. And these two, see, because the brand colors are on right, it, it feels as if they're from the same company. Now, this uh, packaging here, I don't want to show it off too much. Um, it, it's not complete yet. Uh, we still have a few renditions to run, like font changes and slight, slight things like that. Um, but it's coming. And it, we will be rolling out the new packaging very soon. So if you guys uh, get a new order at offsetyoyo.com and you've, you know, you're used to the old packaging, um, you guys may be pleasantly surprised if you get some new stuff. You know, there's a million things I have to be doing right now, but that was the update. Man, it's been a long time since I've just randomly gone to this park and yo-yoed. Just been busy with, ironically, also yo-yo stuff, but but yo-yo company stuff, not the actual yo-yoing. I don't remember who told me this. Uh, it was an older yo-yo player, but it was like, you can never, ever, ever use like a yellow string on a titanium yo-yo. I don't know what it is about that, but it feels very true. So a question I've been asking myself and a lot of, a lot of other people have been asking me as well is like, what's next? Uh, so I've been in this like yo-yo content creator, yo-yo company, yo-yo competitor space for about two to three years now. And, and for the large part, not a lot has evolved. It's, it's kind of just remained steady. And if there's a universal law in the universe is that nothing remains steady. It either grows or it dies. So the question then becomes, well, what's next? And for me, I have no ambitions currently, right now, of doing anything else. I, I definitely don't want to go back to corporate Australia or corporate America, that really sucked. Um, so the question then becomes, how do you grow? What's the next iteration? What's the next level from here? And I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but if there's one thing that I think puts it on the right track is continuing to innovate, continuing to make everything that's here already better. So like making the yo-yos better, making the videos better, uh, trying to upload more consistently. And somewhere in all of this, somewhere in that direction, there is an evolution that looks way cooler and way better and way more expansive than what we're doing today. I'm just, I'm just not 100% sure what that is. Uh, the only thing that I could probably slack on is the competitive yo-yo thing. Um, kids are getting really good these days. I'm not going to, but uh, if there's one thing that could kind of just chill a bit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, that's the end of today's video.